Open the U disk we provided. Click on the HACID folder. Click on the setup.exe. Select the path or default path to install. Complete. In this configuration, we need install drive for PF310A, OS2000 which communicate by USB port. We can find the corresponding device in the device manager, then upgrade driver. The driver is placed in the CD or USB flash disk. Other instrument by RS232 communication needn't driver, please prepare RS232 COM port in advance. After the installation, the corresponding equipment can be found in the device manager without abnormal prompt. The newly installed software requires license, click Start Software, which will pop up the license information interface. After completing the authorization, you can use the software normally, take pictures and send this interface to us, and we will help you to authorize it, and you can choose to try it out to enter the software first. Set up some common communication modes, such as power meter. The standard lamp is E27, and the interior of the integral sphere is E40. So we need to install the lamp seat from E40 to E27, take the standard lamp from the standard lamp box, and rotate into rod of the integrating sphere. Besides, you need to adjust the height of rod, so that the standard lamp is in the center of the integrating sphere. Connecting the power cord from output socket of WIDC power supply to one, two ends of the junction box. Open the software, select the calibration spectrum calibration, the current voltage of the input light, color temperature, and light flux. Before the standard lamp is not lit, click dark button to zero calibration, about 30 seconds, click on the lamp on button in the pop-up dialog box. Set the power supply control and setting conditions, such as comb 1 mode, type 9 bits. Set condition is constant current, current and the standard lamp identification value, the voltage setting value is about 2V above the reference value. Then click set, the power supply will turn on the output, light up the standard lamp. At this time, exit the setting interface, wait for 15 minutes, select all mode calibration, click to start, the system will start automatic calibration and complete. After completion, click save to complete the calibration process. After the calibration is completed, click a single test to check the calibration results. The optical flux error is less than plus or minus 1%, and the color temperature is less than plus or minus 15K, that is, there is no problem with the calibration. Then click Analysis WI Control, click Reset Turn off the standard lamp, you need to wait for the standard lamp to completely cool before removing. First install the auxiliary lamp, and then connect with the WI output terminal. Use the computer according to the current voltage of the auxiliary lamp lamp, same as the standard lamp. Install the standard lamp, no light, click test, remove the standard lamp. Install the measured light, no light, click test, click save to obtain the self-absorption coefficient. Install the lamp in the integral sphere, and connect from the load end of the cabinet to the one and two ends of the junction box, if the strip lamp is used, need to connect to one two, or one three, according to the actual power supply of the lamp. Next, test the operation on the software. If the power supply does not manually light the lamp, you can choose to operate on the software, select the analysis DPS power, set the voltage, 
frequency and other parameters in the ejected interface, output, light the lamp and exit. You can input integration time or select automatically integration time, click the test, and wait for the test to complete. After the test is completed, double-click the data to edit some information in the pop-up box of the test information, select the save in the file menu, and save the test data for later review. Finally, you can choose to print the report and print out the test report. The above steps are a test process, and more detailed information can be read in the user manual. Thank you for your patient watching. If you have any doubts during the installation test, welcome to email globalservice at everfine.net to get more answers.